This is Tammy, and here at the Rusted Willow, we do high-end DIYs and thrift flips on a budget. So let's get started with DIY number one. I got this candle holder from Hobby Lobby. It was 90% off, so it only cost me $2.99. It was regularly $29.99. I thought it was so cute, and I just loved it. And it was white. So I cleaned it up. I took off all the stickers and look at all those candles. I will not be filling it with all those candles because at my house that would just be a fire hazard. I take off all the stickers and I give it a good cleaning and then I sand down those words pretty well and I just give it a good all over sanding. And now I'm ready to apply some paint. So then I take my Waverly Plaster chalk paint and I give it two good coats. And I give this two good coats because I want those words to be covered. After I get done adding the plaster chalk paint, then I go in and I kind of dry brush. It's not really a dry brush because I'm just using some celery and I water it down, but my plaster is not dry. So I want to blend these two colors together. I don't want them to be real stark. I just want them to be blended. So there's like a hint of celery. I love how this looks. I feel like these blended covers, colors that are just, you can slightly see them, are so high end looking. I just, I love how it looks. All right, guys, now this is my Dollar Tree vinyl. This is how it turns out for me. Like, part of it turns out perfect, the other part is a mess. And I did have it on the washi tape setting. So I was definitely on the struggle bus with this. Do you see that big wrinkle in my? transfer tape that is shelf liner from Dollar Tree as well so anyway I got it figured out I got it on there it all works out in the end it just took a little bit more time <laughs> it was very time consuming like I have this sped up like seven times and the vinyl did not want to stick it was just one thing after another with this stuff and my husband comes down and I'm frustrated because this literally took me two hours. I had to print it out multiple times on my Cricut just to get two good um, vinyls to put on this one project. I was going to make it double-sided, but I, I just didn't have the patience for it, honestly. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you. Like right there, the bottom of the T ripped off. Um, in the farmer's market, the M part of it rips off. I mean, it's just one thing after another with this vinyl. And he's like, are you done using this cheap vinyl yet? And I'm like, but it's only a dollar 25. He goes, how much is your time worth? Like, seriously, he said, you're frustrated. You're down here late at night working on this vinyl. And he's like, just buy the Cricut brand. Just quit buying the cheap stuff. I'm like, fine see the M rips right there. I mean, it's just one thing after another with this. <sighs> and honestly, I hate to say it, but he's right. I'm done with the crooked or the, <laughs> I'm done with the cheap vinyl. See, there's my little M piece I'm trying to put back. Like this is sped up probably 700 times, literally. It took me so long to work on. I just, I can't even tell you how long it took me. It was, it was hours. Cutting out the words multiple times and then trying to get it on, getting it to stick to this was just crazy. And then I used my Matte Mod Pod to seal it. All right, guys, today is what month is it? And it is hosted by Tammy from Happiness Created and Jackie over at Crafting the Mimi's World. 
and I am co-hosting this month with Michelle over at Moxie DIY in Java. So go over and visit these ladies and I will have their channels listed below in my description box. So make sure to go over and say hi and tell them Tammy sent you. I love these ladies and they are my friends. And here is the rules to this playlist if you want to participate next month. Now on to DIY number two. All right, this sign I got from Dollar General. It was, uh, I believe, 90% off, 70, I don't know, 70% off maybe. I got it. It was only $1.20. $1.20, guys. And it's a pretty big sign. I mean, it is a nice size sign. And um, I loved it as is, but I actually bought it for the blank because I knew I was going to be making a bunch of signs for Christmas and fall, and I just wanted it for that. So I cut the beads off, and I am giving it, I believe I gave it two good coats of the Waverly Plaster Chalk Paint. I might have given it three, but honestly, I think I only did two coats. Um, it covered it pretty well, so I didn't have to do any more than that. Now, I just covered the sides. Well, actually, I covered it all over. I did not paint the back. Although I could make this double sided because the back is clean. I mean, there's nothing on the back. Um, I love how this turned out and I actually might make it double sided. I don't know why I didn't think of that before, but I'm thinking about it now. And then I take my, let me see what colors I'm using. I am taking my dust and silver lining and I am just blending those colors in ever so slightly because I am in love with this dust color and I wanted some gray to go with my decor. Now, this month is August and it's my birthday month. So August is the month of Leo. Um, well, I'm a Leo anyway, so I'm going to be doing a sign that is corresponding with my Zodiac. And the reason I did the farmer's market on the candle holder is because August is when we have all the farmers markets. I love going to the farmers markets. I love going to the vintage markets. I love going to any kind of market <laughs> as long as there's old stuff there <laughs> or fresh vegetables. Okay. Um, and here is this iron on from Dollar Tree. Now I realize that this is a Dollar Tree item, but I am trying to use up my stash and even though I still go thrifting every week, um, I still want to use up my Dollar Tree stash. And I have not bought, I, well, I have not purchased any new Dollar Tree craft items except for the leather pumpkins. And I did find some other pumpkins there that were amazing. They'll be coming up on another DIY video. Okay, so with this iron on, I wasn't sure that it was actually going to work ironing onto wood, but it did guys, it did. So I got this design, like I said, from Dollar Tree. It is a lion. I bought it a long time ago, probably a year ago or two. And I bought it because I am a Leo and I love lions. And I was going to put it on a bag or a shirt or something for me. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to use it for this. I'm going to make myself a sign and I'm going to hang it up here in my studio. So I just, you can't rub this when you're doing it on wood, even though the directions say to iron it in circles. Yeah, you can't do that. You have to just hold it down in one place. And I found that most of the little beads would stick. And then there was like one or two that would not stick. So I gave up on those little one or twos and I just went with what was sticking and what wasn't because this was taking way longer than I thought it should. Um, I did use my little handheld heat mini hip heat press um, the HTV Ront gave me um, and it worked perfectly for this. So there you go. Look at how cool that turned out. And then I just cut a vinyl of some of our traits and Leos are very loyal and fearless. And I think that describes me to a T. So <laughs> I'm pretty fearless. On to DIY number three. Okay, I got this round at Target. It was $3 and it has a green little handle on it which if you know anything about August, um, the birthstone is Peridot 
and um, I hope I'm saying that right. That's how I've always said it. Um, it's like a light green. It's lighter than emerald. Um, it's very beautiful green color. And um, anyway, I like the, the green for the handle of this. And anyway, I got this at Target Dollar Spot and I got several of them because I just loved how thick they were. And you could make this double sided as well. And I loved the leather handles. And they came in two different shapes. Um, I think one was like an octagon maybe. And one was like, um, and one is a circle. So I just use a makeup sponge and I am going down the center. And again, this um, stencil is from Dollar Tree. It's a sticky stencil. I've never used it before. So this is my first time using it. And guys, it actually works really well. Um, and I used it multiple times. I laid it down in the same spot. I laid it down um, in different spots. I, I just, I could reapply it. It was still sticky. I was pretty amazed at how well it worked, honestly. Um, so anyway, I was trying to get the spacing right on the, what do you call them? Feathers. <laughs> oh my goodness. I am losing my words tonight. And um, uh, I was actually happily surprised at how well these worked because this, this DIY gave me the least amount of issues, honestly. Um, the only issue I had was figuring out what colors to use and um, what to embellish it with. So I love, I love these feathers. I think they're gorgeous and I couldn't wait to use this stencil. So as most of you know, if you are a returning subscriber, I am Native American and so I really enjoy making Native American DIYs. So every time I can or whenever I can incorporate that into my DIYs, I try to. So I am and since it's my birthday month, I know I keep starting sentences and then going on to something else. Sorry about that. But since it's my birthday month, I thought, you know what? I'm I'm going to do this. I'm going to do what I want to do. So <laughs> just kind of going rogue here. So I made the middle gold. I made the one on the left side dusk, and then I used silver shadow for the right side, but my end product doesn't look like this. I changed it up a little bit and I changed it up to match the, these rub on transfers that I also got from Dollar Tree. Now this is gonna be a little boho style, I believe. So I'm mixing in some little high-end boho DIYs this time. I feel like these are super high-end, especially this wood round from Target, which is over and half an inch thick. I mean, it is thick and it is heavy and it is nice. And it stands up on its own, I love it. These rub-on transfers are so nice. I love them and they're very boho. So I hope you guys like this one. If you want to see more boho, just let me know in the comments down below. I love doing anything with dream catchers and feathers and, and stuff like that. So I hope you guys like this one. And I just used the Be Brave and I was trying to figure out, do I put more arrows on here? Do I put more embellishments on here? But I decided to just leave it simple. And I feel like that gave it the best impact. So I put Be Brave and put an arrow on there and called it a DIY. All right, guys, moving right along on to number four. So this little box I got at Michael's for 99 cents and I loved it as a shadow box. So this could also be double sided, but there is, and it sits up on its own, but there's two hangers on the back. There's that jute twine hanger and then there's also a sawtooth hanger. So you could hang it either way you wanted to. Um, but I just embellished the inside with some of these um, boho rub on transfers from Dollar Tree. I used some more of them because I like them so much and I thought, you know what, I need something else to go with my feathers. So I put this together real fast. The hardest part to this one was just designing it, <laughs> figuring out what to put on there and where to put it and how much to put on because you don't want to overdo it and you don't want it to be underwhelming. You know what I mean? So 
that was that was the hardest part for me. So you guys will have to tell me if you liked it or not in the final reveal. I did change it up a little bit. I put on some feathers. I put follow your dreams and put some arrows on there. And then I embellished it with a little bit more. But I really love how these turned out. All right, guys, I want to thank you so much if you're returning. And if you're new here, please sub consider subscribing and hitting that like button. That really helps YouTube to push out my videos and I appreciate you so much and do not forget to go over and visit Tammy, Jackie, and Michelle over at Moxie DIY and Java, Tammy over at Happiness Created, and Jackie over at Crafting in Mimi's World. These guys are my friends and I love them dearly and we have the best time here on YouTube and in the chats. So here are my DIYs. And some people said they liked the still pictures and some people said they liked the video. So I did both. You'll have to tell me what you think about the feather round. I did change the color up a little bit to match the arrow because it had that like pinky color. And that color is actually one of the new Waverly colors and it's called, or no, I'm sorry, pink sky, pink sky. And I love how the farmer's market box turned out and that's how I styled it that little be brave follow your dreams i love that it, it's gonna go on my tear tray i just i love it love it love it love it oh my gosh everything i made i absolutely love i can't even pick a favorite honestly but you're gonna have to tell me what you think about that farmer's market box um and how i styled it i only put two candles in there and then I did succulents that I got at 80% off at Michael's the other day. Guys, if you haven't been to Michael's lately, everything's on clearance. Run. Hurry up. Get there. And I love this iron-on and loyal and fearless. That's just me to a T. All right, guys. I want to thank you so much for stopping by. And I will see you in the next one. Have a good week. Bye.